That was The Midnight Creeps on The Haunted Cabaret. And if you're lucky, you caught the tail end of that during the music conversation that we were having here in the studio. If not, then you missed out. What can I say? I don't know if the microphone's caught it or not. But basically, you know, going on with this little tirade about, you know, the music scene and the creative people in it. The other, I hate to use the word sin because to me sin is usually a good thing. The other, let's just say the other mistake or the other stupid thing that musicians and other, we'll stick with musicians do, is you do all this work, you come up with something that's actually being listened to, and then because something deep inside you says that you're not supposed to succeed. You are a loser. Thank you. You are a loser because you're doing well. Now, only mus- only I was going to say only musicians, but no, it's only rock music. When I say rock, I mean metal, rockabilly, punk, you know, any kind of rock. It's only, I think it was Jay-Z, the hip-hop guy, that he said he feels really bad for rock and roll people, you know, rock musicians, because they've let themselves be convinced by the music industry that the artist and the, the business you know, of making money, don't match. In other words, if you make money with your music, you're not a real artist. And he says, that's the, to him, obviously, to Jay-Z, so that's the stu- he says, us hip-hop guys never fell for that. <laughs> you know, saying, we are, we're, making the, you know, we're making the albums and we're taking the money. He says, rock and roll people, they're the only people that were ever stupid enough to be convinced that you can't make money and good music at the same time. And I know myself, you know, Tony... We have worked with several of these people. Several of them. Yes, we have, in fact, worked with several losers. I mean, they write the songs. They put incredible amounts of effort into producing the CD. Everything's, all systems go. And then, I don't know, Tony, what would the word be for what happens to their heads? Uh, Self implodes? fear of success they start to see that finish line and they freak out yeah and the finish line is money uh the opposite sex or the same sex sex. or the same sex if you're in that direction either one judge basically yeah you'll be the judge the money sex and a measure of fame and as soon as they see that shining in their future I'm trying to choose my words here because FCC. Right. But their brain explodes. Ever see the movie Scanners? <laughs> yep. Science fiction movie about telepaths. People's brains explode, literally. And I think that's what happens to these people. You know, the, the possibility of success causes their brains to mentally explode. And then they either, well, well I don't know. What's the, uh, let's see, usually what happens is the symptoms of this is that they quit their jobs. Yeah. They quit their band, they quit their girlfriend or boyfriend, um, they move back in with their parents, uh, they move to some other state far away from their audience, um, and they start doing something that has nothing to do with what was promising success in the first place. Start a really shitty band and think it's the next <laughs> best thing coming and leave their band members high and dry and don't tell them about their new project. Right, and then the new project comes out and basically... It's it horrible. sounds like a bunch of cats in a blender, basically. <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. With, and, but the important thing is the new project, like finishing up the thought we're making here, the new project has absolutely zero possibility of success. That's the important thing. <laughs> it cannot succeed. And you if know, you're taking... Kind of like, you know, a submarine with a screen door <laughs> launched into the Pacific Ocean. It cannot succeed in, in what it's like trying to accomplish. And I know there's some listeners out there taking exception to this. That's because we've hit home. We, you know it. Yeah, if you're pissed off at what we're saying right now, exactly. Chuckles, yeah, I couldn't have said it better. Exactly. All right. Now, let's get back to some bands that put the effort in. And don't suck. Don't suck. So it's not Kiss, right? Oh. <laughs> you had to get that zinger in. Zings. He did. See, and the reason for this is because Kiss is probably one of the few subjects on this planet that Chuckles the Clown and George Garner will be polar opposites on until the heat death of the universe. Right. Or right. the death of Kiss. Kiss will never die. Well, one can only hope. 
<laughs> Actually, no, that they won't because Gene Simmons. And now, even as a Kiss fan, I will admit that. I don't want to see this happen in any way, shape, or form. Gene Simmons has actually talked about, well, and I guess the idea came to him because now there's only two original members. There used to be four. Now there's only two original members, okay? He's actually talking about that when he dies and Paul Stanley dies, the two original members, he wants to see Kiss franchised out like Blue Man Group. I just threw up in my mouth. I felt the vague, all I, I just kept repeating to myself after I heard him say that, He's kidding, he's kidding, he's kidding, he's kidding, he's kidding. That's all, the only way I could not vomit myself. Why don't you I, franchise out some Chuckles the Clowns throughout the nation? That's a good idea. That wouldn't be a bad thing, actually. That's, now we're talking about a totally separate thing. We're talking about national domination. Yeah, then I'd get away with whatever I want. I didn't do it with that, Chuckles. <laughs> okay, and again, the segue creates itself. This is the Czar from Scarlet Angel. On the Haunted Cabaret, Rhode Island Free Radio. That was Scarlet Angel with the Czar. And Chuckles, you said uh, you know those that, that band, don't I you? do know those young ladies. Kim, I know her more than the other one. We've had the privilege of partying with them out in Columbus, Ohio, at a really great convention. That must have been a party indeed. It was. It was at Midwest Haunters Convention. A bunch of haunters, heavy metal, and these folks kick ass live just as well as they do on album. So, and they are really, they really are top-notch evil people. That's my way of saying they're good people. Now, you know, we're coming toward the end of the show, as usual, much too fast. But I know, Chuckles, you're in 
you have a couple of things you promoted on your show. Yeah, let's promote it here too because there's there's a couple of interesting things here. Comic Con is it coming up? Oh, uh, well, let's go to the first one first so people yeah. know. March fourteenth, the day after Friday, the thirteenth. Rock for a Cure. Uh, this will be down in good old Bellingham, Mass. Now we're we curing loser, musical losers. Or what no, are we trying to? We're curing cancer. This is going to be a. There'll be a relay for cancer there. So Milford's relay for life. And this will be at Millville's Men Club, 8 Lloyd Street, Bellingham, Mass. Doors open at at 7. It is $10 per head. Pizza, food, rock, evil clowns. Okay, now, can, now curing cancer, that's something even I can get behind because that's actually something that I could myself die of, so there's some self-interest here. You know, it could happen. So, yeah, cure it before I get it. I, I hope so. I hope this one goes out. This is a lame disease. It really, uh, it takes way too many people too quickly. Um, and it's been taking too long for us to come up with a cure for this. Uh, another great one coming up, South Coast Toy and Comic Show, where Rhode Island Free Radio org will be setting up, and I will be uh, signing autographs with them as well. And uh, this is, you need information for this, go to www southcoasttoyandcomic.com uh, get times uh, directions and celebrities that are going to be there but who cares about the other celebrities about the Power Rangers and stuff Chuckles the Clown yeah, the, what, 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 are there any couple, other, I mean Chuckles the Clown is the reason to go in the first place but are there any other notable celebrities yeah there? one of the Red Rangers is going to be there like I don't know the Power Rangers guys I know I, I know I'm Chuckles Crypt and I have to do my research and I'm going to cry watching this stuff but They'll be there. And, of course, Tony Jones, a man that ran for governor, and the mind behind Rhode Island Free Radio will be there. So be a good time. And we'll have free stuff. Free. Free. Not me. I'm not giving away free crap. Rhode Island Free Radio is. I'm charging you for my crap. And, okay, but. Okay, I'll give away free business cards. Well, I was going to say, though, that, you know, Chuckles the Clown, you're going to have copies of, among other things, you're going to have copies of your long-running Television show, television the show full there. series now. The full first series will be up there. Right, which is to say, now, let's let's make this distinction here. The stuff that Chuckles sells at these events isn't usually crap. No. No, the stuff that Tony and I sell at these events is genuine crap. And we make more money. <laughs> and we make, well, yes. And there is a method to our madness, yes. And I usually end up crap. <laughs> and I usually end up buying your crap, too. <laughs> That's the worst part. I'm trying to make money, and what happens? This son of a bitch pulls out a freaking camera figure. There goes you, my money. What do you think? I keep signing you up. <laughs> oh, he opens Paying for my weekend. He opens, and I, now I know it. He opens that comic book box early because he knows the, the nerd. Chuckles the clown will be browsing through it. Right, instant sell right there. I know it. Okay. All right. I'll I'll tell you. This is unusual. Ending. The Haunted Cabaret with almost canned-sounding sitcom laughter. <laughs> okay, once is okay. All right, let's end. All right, as far as the music goes, let's end it with... Um, okay, I'll erase this laughter. Let's end with a little bit of exhumed, vacant grave, closing out this issue of The Haunted Cabaret on Rhode Island Free Radio. Nighty-night. Nighty-night. <laughs>